place and time. We're both running out for a local charity that provides Christmas gifts to hundreds of children and food to families. Last night, we told you how Southfield Goodfellows didn't have a location to sort and assemble their holiday care packages and their gifts. Well, Jermont Terry live in Southfield with the way the company saw the need and then stepped in. Jermont. Yeah, Devin, not only did those companies want to step in, but they wanted to give Southfield Goodfellows something that they desperately needed a working space and it appears that the town center here in Southfield is a perfect location to keep this charity afloat. Iris Thompson walks into the town center in Southfield overjoyed. I'm so excited that you call. Nick Prokop escorts her down the hallway to potentially ease all her concerns. It's, uh, it's in a great spot. You see, Iris is the president of the Southfield Goodfellows. Last year, they collected 18.5 tons of food and gave out gifts to more than 600 children in need. But their normal storage space wasn't available. That meant there was nowhere to keep these holiday giveaways. They wouldn't be able to, you know, provide this service to everyone who needs it if they couldn't, you know, get the space to you know, put together these packages for all these needy people. So Nick with Transwestern, the property management company, decided they would keep the tradition going. I'm so excited. <laughs> we were so worried. She walks into a dusty room filled with cardboard and storage boxes, and Iris breaks down. We can't do this without people like you because we're charity, and we rely on donations so that we can help the people. And while you may see just a cluttered room, bring it in. Oh, uh, yeah. No problem. We're glad to help. This is new life to Goodfellows. Such a godsend. We thank you so much. Goodfellows now has a 4,000 square foot facility to work out of. They also have access to a loading dot, dock, I should say, to, uh, for all those donations that they will get in the coming weeks. And yes, all of this is free of charge to them. Of course, they provide Christmas joy to families in December, but it's safe to say that Christmas came early for this organization today. Reporting live in Southfield, Jermont Terry, Local 4. And Jermont, I, I understand other businesses saw the story as well. They wanted to help too. Yeah, they were. We got uh, calls from people in Troy, but unfortunately they couldn't access that. They had to stay within the Southfield area, but we're just great. She was just grateful for all the local four viewers who wanted to help out after seeing that story yeah. last night. Thumbs up to the viewers. Yeah, absolutely right. All right, Jermont.